the percentage of internet users today who use Twitter has quadrupled in the last couple of years. 12 to 24 year olds are gravitating towards Twitter faster than any demographic before them. Not just memetics and, and viral videos and Rebecca Black, but what is it that spreads ideas through our culture? Number one, social currency. The idea that we do things because we want to look good to our friends. We also do things based on triggers. We form habits based on a cue, something that tells us to recall the habit, the routine that we have in place for the habit or the learned behavior, and then finally the reward. I believe it was exactly 8.38 p.m. when the lights went out in the Superdome during the Super Bowl. At this point, all of Oreo and Kraft Foods executive team were all gathered around sitting in front of XBeyond's big social media dashboard. Quote from Sarah Hofstetter, while we certainly didn't expect the blackout, the team's first instinct was to figure out how Oreo could be relevant in the moment. And so they put out the dunk in the dark tweet to the tune of 16,000 retweets, over 6,000 favorites, and they added about 8,000 Twitter followers to their account. Can anybody tell me exactly how much money they invested in that advertisement and that piece of creative? Zero. He's done it before. He understands what a, a business's pain points are. He gets like the high level sort of trends that are happening. He's able to translate those into actionable sort of tactics. Has anybody had Jenny's ice cream in the room? I see some nods going up. These guys do Twitter very, very differently. I've always thought this was funny. That Bon Appetit tweets just drove an hour out of our way to stop at Jenny's ice cream to find out that they recently moved back their open time by an hour. Sad moment. Bon Appetit, hmm. Terribly sorry to, to disappoint, particularly since you went so far out of your way. Waiting it out? Question mark? Jenny's ice cream. Had to keep on the road, sadly, but will keep making my way through the cookbook and hope to try the real thing soon. This is the power of Twitter, folks. This is what you can do with real-time communications. You can take customers that have had a bad experience and turn them around more quickly than you ever have been able to do before. It's gonna be a heck of a lot easier for you guys to convert a customer using email than it is to convert a customer using Twitter. But you can use Twitter to start that process, to get them into your funnel. The secret to being a success on Twitter as a business is to build new cultural habits. My name is Nate Riggs and I thank you very much for your time.